This is an overview video on how to migrate your enterprise phones to multi-platform firmware. And this series of videos, we're going to explore how you would actually go about this, whether or not you want to do a migration to WebEx Calling, or if you want to migrate to another third-party call control platform. So the first thing you want to do is go to upgrade.cisco.com. And here there are basically two main areas. The first is to migrate from enterprise to MPP using WebEx calling. And the second is to migrate from enterprise to MPP and not using WebEx calling. So perhaps using Broadworks or another third party call control system. So these are the two main areas. So it's important to point out that if you're going to use WebEx calling, that your licenses can be procured using WebEx Control Hub. And for that, we actually have a video tutorial on how to migrate your enterprise phones using WebEx Control Hub. Now, there are two points I want to make about licensing. And that is number one, if you use the WebEx Control Hub to do the migration, then from a licensing perspective, you're required to use WebEx Calling. And number two, if you move off of WebEx Calling to another third party call control platform, then the Control Hub license will effectively expire and you will need to use a new license that you must procure for those phones. So, the other scenario is where you're actually migrating to another third party call control system or Broadworks. And in that scenario, you have to essentially upload your licenses. And that process is basically documented here. You would use the license and registration portal, and then you would choose the file and you would upload it. So that's some of the big differences at a high level in terms of the migration process. Otherwise, it can be very similar. You can basically, in this example, you would determine your hardware licenses, you would make sure that there's no firewall blocking uh, the phone from reaching the cloud, and then the migration method. And there are three migration methods the first two are bulk methods, which is using UC Manager or a DHCP server. And the last one is a manual migration, which is actually the easiest. You basically just change the TFTP address on the phone, point it to this cloud upgrader system, and it will go ahead and migrate it. So the alternate TFTP method is the easiest, but it is not bulk and therefore it does not scale as well. And the details and the step-by-step -step process for each of these three methods are covered in separate videos on upgrade.cisco.com. Let's talk about which devices are eligible to be migrated to MPP firmware. So basically the 7800 series and the 8800 series, but the 7800 series if it's version 4 or higher on the 7841, you're good to go. On the 7821 and 61, it's version 3 or higher. And for the 8800 series, we exclude the 882131 and the NR, which is the no radio. And the key expansion modules require no migration. Thank you.